Africa records one of the longest exposures to sunlight and has over 600 million people who do not have access to electricity. In the informal settlements and rural parts of Kenya, the electricity supply has not fully penetrated the areas. There's a few things that we uh, we did, and this is starting from the stakeholder engagement, going out to Sindrain, finding out what the challenges are, um, because also you can't design systems that the people themselves are not involved in or have not told you they need, right? Um, so we went to Singrene towards the end of 2018. We met with the school stakeholders, we met with the clinic, the nurses, the county governments, um, and locals, the you know people who own shops and you know who live there. Uh, and we asked them the question about if you were able to access energy, the excess energy from the school, would you buy some? Um, and they they were they re responded positively to that. <laughs> In Sigrene village, Kajado County, Kenya, not all off-grid power users have installed solar panels to access electricity. It was tough enough because there, was, there were no lights in the facility. It was even hard to save lives because, you know, for a delivery you are dealing with a mother and a child. And these are things you have to attend with a lot of emergency and a lot of care. We were able to get a lot of people to get a lot of people to get a lot of people to get a lot to a to kabisa kwa sababu jumapili lazima tutumie lita kama sita kwa mchana moja na iwapo tutakuwa na washa huo mpaka usiku pengine tutaongezea hadi lita kumi. working with a local blockchain accelerator bithub africa he was deployed a distributed energy system that allow local community members in singra in kenya to trade electricity between themselves using blockchain technology uh, bithub africa has been for the past 7 years a blockchain accelerator operating across the African continent where we have been um, educating people on the latest technologies uh, which include Bitcoin and blockchain and uh, we've been building a community of what we call blockchain engineers to develop solutions that are relevant for the African continent. So one of the solutions that we've developed is called Melamine Solar which uses blockchain technology including the Lightning Network and the WIFE protocol that allows uh, communities to share energy with each other, as well as store energy in the form of digital tokens. The WIFE protocol and network, launched on the 2nd of February 2020, is a peer-to-peer -peer blockchain protocol that is intensifying the building of sustainable energy solutions through trustless rewards. Through the WIFE protocol, we're able to convert that excess energy into tokens. And if you look like in rural areas where let's say there's somebody who would have a solar system and maybe they don't use it on the weekend or they don't use it at certain day, hours during the day, that electricity could really benefit somebody else. And so if that other person can buy electricity from them, it, only, it not only gives this person an extra income, but also enables this person to have access to energy, which without a large capital cost up front. <laughs> So if somebody, for example, wants to take their digital tokens and transmit them to a cousin upcountry, uh, they can transmit those tokens over what we call the Lightning Network. I love me a Peroli, Nake, Egdolavado, the Gulnamo, Kayan de Sayukumo, now Kagina Malavana Haroli. When I am a I did not know and Romanoni. He was here by any wrong kind of Lay you in the law and get summer. Now, Padola degraded you and operated in our Marie, Nagni you. Solar power technology has the power to unleash the unmet energy needs in Kenya and Africa at large. This blockchain solar model will enable over 2,000 people in Sindrene to access affordable power. 
wakati kuna kuaga na giza kama kuna mbala mwezi ama kuna ni tunakosa wanyama wanashambulia sana maboma wanachukua mbuzi kama kitu kama fizi lakini tukipata hiyo stima kwa manyumbani itakuwa ni security inatosha the chief office can now be operated for 24 hours i'm seeing my school in the near future one all our children will be ICT conversion to go to the and the gadgets there tasaidia kwa sababu utakuwa na preps na ni free sasa ikiwa na mwangaza hakuna mtu anaweza kuopa kuendelea na masomo we are training our engineers to deploy this solution and uh, create what we call lightning hubs that will be distributed across the african continent to create what we call liquidity and uh, um, inter africa uh, trade and in particular energy trade Watch out for blockchain, it's going to be the next big disruptor in the energy sector in Africa.